Right, well, here we are, week two, aperture. Back to college again. Again, well, just for the second week, essentially. I'm rambling now. Um, so, yeah, we're going to learn about aperture tonight. So this will be interesting, see what's what, where's where. Hopefully we're going to uh, take on some things that I don't know too much about already. So I have a habit of just going ahead and just watching, you know, far too many YouTube tutorials about things and, and all that sort of gubbins. So down the rabbit hole I go. So hopefully, hopefully we get some stuff tonight. I've got my camera charged up. I've forgotten my, um, my dongle for my microphone. So the sound's on the actual camera at the minute, my camera being my my iPhone so hopefully the sound is an absolute garbage um, and I'll find where the dongle's gone but we can't I can't do anything about that right now so here's what it is the, the best bit of kit you got is the one that's in your hand right so we're going for that theory so yeah uh, I've got my student card tonight so that'll be that'll be fun have a student ID again I got my first bit of student discount the other night uh, in a in a board game cafe I mean I got my one pound off my table fee. So I felt I felt like I'm winning already with that. <laughs> you know, every, every penny counts, right? So yeah, here we go, back to college. Right, so enough of that. I'll catch you on the other side. So it's the day after the night before. Um, I'm recording today because I lost a dongle that goes into the phone. Um, so I wasn't able to record with the microphone. So I was trying to find out last night and it got late. So I didn't, I've lost it. I had to buy a new one. So we're recording on the antenna microphone. So I'll, if it sounds bad, it's because it's a iPhone microphone. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, this is the third attempt of me recording this because I've been recording it and not recording it because I've been trying to get a monitor in it. Anyway, that's, here we are now. Third time lucky, right? Last night's lesson. But firstly, I've got my, my student card, which is cool. So that's fine. Um, what do we do? Aperture, we did aperture. So I should know what we've done right now because I've already read it out three times myself. So we went through what aperture is, how it affects the camera. So the, uh, the the lower the aperture number, the wider it is and the more light it comes in. So my lens, for example, goes down to 1.4 and up to f16. The higher number lets in a lower amount of light. Um, so broad daylight, for example, you probably want to use a, a lower number to let less light in, but based on all the other sort of settings as well. Um, and also the depth of field that it gives. So a a uh, larger aperture, the lower number, gives a more shallow depth of field, whereas the um, a small aperture, small hole but a bigger number, lets in less light but gives a much um, a greater depth of field, so that gets everything in, in, in focus, whereas the smaller depth of field just gets, let's say, the person in focus, while the background, foreground, they might be nice and blurry and give you that dreamy sort of um, bokeh effect. So that's what we went through last night. We also went out into the yard, took some photos. I took photos of, because it's a arty college as well, so there's lots of sculptures outside. So I took pictures of sculptures, took pictures of flowers, took pictures of a seagull on a roof. I don't know if that's going to come out. It looked kind of cool because it had a sort of, uh, it was framed by some sort of lights that looked a bit like that. And it was kind of there, but it's a bit far away and my camera's only got a 50 mil, only a 50 mil, well, it's 35 mil lens, but it's APS-C. So it's kind of like a 50 mil equivalent. So not sure how that's going to come out. Um, I've got a picture of a dragon that they've made. Um, what else do we get? Pictures of some aircon units that are outside because I thought it looked kind of industrial and cool and moody. Um, we, again, I don't know, they might not, it might be complete crap. Um, so that was that. We also touched briefly on, um, on, uh, the rule of thirds. So I've been using, I know what the rule of thirds are, but I've been using them wrong. Uh, so I have been always placing up my rule of thirds and putting this, this main subject in the center of the rule of thirds, so using it to line up and, and get that. But what 
according to what this is. We didn't get didn't talk about it much last night, which annoyed me for one of a it did kind of annoy. We spent too much time doing other things, but we didn't go over this as much as I wanted to. Um so they have this thing called PowerPoints in the corner of the um the center square. And you kind of line your subject up with that. So you would have I mean like on here it's got a, a, I don't know if you can see this very well, but a deer for example, see a rule of thirds, you'd have the deer down on the uh, the corner there or whatever or that corner depending where it is obviously um to give it more of a, a dynamic and engaging look is what it says um and the same with people so you'd have their uh their eye or something for in the in the you know in one of the powerpoints to give it that sort of thing whereas i've been kind of trying to get them all lined up there and maybe that's where i've been going wrong but it's all learning see i'm learning things which is what we're there to do so that was cool. I have asked to go over this a bit more next week and maybe practice with it a bit, but obviously I can practice on my own and things. So so that would be cool. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this week. I don't know what we're doing next week. I've completely forgotten and I still can't remember after thinking about it for a bit. So I don't know. We'll turn up. It's been a nice surprise for me. Anyway, that's all for now. So hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.